Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. O's, grams, flights, air. It's the mind of an interior's moon. You're now talking to the Archangel Uriel. And Dolor the Pilot Man is here to tell you what the fuck you need to do. And I'm going to break down what the fuck is going on. Listen, I got my email address all cleared out, man. I had like 5,000 or something messages on that motherfucker. So I couldn't get to what I want to get to. Like, I see per certain people request and I plan on it. And then... Leave, don't do something else for one or two days. Come back, I got 100 to 200 more messages on top of that. So shit was just overlapsing. I cleared myself out now. So any anybody need questions, um, NATO chart interpretations, anything, contact me, dolo4 at gmail.com. D-O-E-L-O-W, the number four. Don't spell out F-O-U-R, the number four. D-O-E. L O W the number four at gmail.com. So it's dolo4 at gmail.com. All cleared out now. Now I can really get to you uh, get to people real a lot quicker, a lot faster. You know what I'm saying? And um Yeah, another thing too. Um people who need NATO chart interpretations and stuff like that, try to um Try to go on one of these websites and get your layout first, then email me. Don't email me your, your time and date expecting me to go look up your time and date because I'm not going to do it because I got a lot of other things I'll be doing. And in the middle of that, you know what I'm saying, it's free. You know what I'm saying? So you take one step, I'll take another. You know what I'm saying? And the way I'm going to do this too is I'm going um, to make a video and throw it on Google Plus or, or uh, YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start going on Google Plus live. For people can start asking me questions live and stuff like that. Right now, I still got the Instagram. You can go on Instagram and contact me any time of the day. You know what I'm saying? And get and get a quick response. YouTube, YouTube is is kind of crazy right now. You got that Google Plus and shit like that. I can't even leave comments on other people's videos. It'd be a lot of shit. I be seeing that I be wanting to leave a comment on and I can't even leave a comment because every time I click on the comment section, uh, a visible screen pop up and disappear. And um, I know it's due, to, it's due to Google Plus, so you know what I'm saying? I can't even use YouTube correctly. So a lot of people who write comments and stuff, even on my YouTube page, and might seem like I'm not replying is not that I'm not, I don't see it is that I can't reply and then I would have and then the only way I can reply is going through a bunch of Google Plus bullshit and I'm just not ready for all that right now so my Instagram is uh Instagram at flight boss so I think it's Dolo the pilot man you can just go on Instagram and type it in and see it or just go on Google type in Dolo the pilot man Instagram it should pop up somewhere somehow somewhat it pop up and you can get questions you could comment on any of the pictures i throw up anything and you would get direct direct answers any time of the day because instagram that's that that's something like that's on my phone i, I run around now any anything I'm, if i'm in between a video in between uh um doing what i do on a daily basis to make to make ends meet or you know what i'm saying because i don't got a job <laughs> i'll tell you that right now you know what i'm saying but your job is 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 not qualified for me to jump in that for your kind of money. Just put it that way. I did, your kind of money ain't worth my kind of time. You know what I'm saying? Um, then we want to talk about um, any, anything. I don't even want to talk about what I do on a regular basis. But you just know that I'm able to provide uh, a substantial place for you people to be able to always see me. I'm always going to be here, always going to be in the sun. I'm never going to fall off. I, I don't live under them terms and conditions. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not one of these people who, uh, oh, this guy used to do that. He don't do that no more. No, I'm always up, never down. You know what I'm saying? So just, just, think, just think about that. I'm always upgrading new cameras, new everything. You know what I'm saying? So just count on me on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as... Um, NATO chart interpretations though, yeah, just had to lay out, go on one of these websites. And the reason why I say that too, because you probably feeling like right now that if you do go on one of these websites, well, I could just look at it myself and see what they're saying. But uh, I'm going to tell you that you need to look at that subjectively because uh, I didn't put a lot of these websites to test too. Look, none of these websites is a human form. They're all rendered through something from humans. I'm going to tell you like this though. There's no one on earth who can give you an interpretation like me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care. You can go on any website and see what they got to say for you, but it's never the root of the cause. It's never the root. It's never the root situation. It's always an analysis. And and I want to tell you too, this is how you can know it's an analysis because say you go on one of these websites, right? 
no matter what time you type in, some of these websites don't even have you on an accurate rising sign. Like, it don't matter what time of day you put you was born on that Pacific day. It don't matter what time you put AM or PM, the same rising sign going to appear. And rising sign switches every two hours. So, um, that's wrong. You can, you can have a false assertion on your rising sign dealing with these websites. So, that's another reason why I would want you to uh, show me that layout. Because I can see which website you got it from. And then there's, another, there's a lot of other websites, too that interpretate on the wrong basis. There's a deep undertone to every zodiac sign without the influences of the planets. Because look, each zodiac sign is ruled by a planet, right? But believe it or not, these planets didn't always rule these zodiac signs. Within the age of Pisces 2000 years, yes, that was apparent that maybe Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini, Saturn rules uh, Capricorn and Aquarius. But we're stepping in a new time, so that lets you know 2,000 years before they before the age of Pisces, there was different rulers. Um, now we're in the age of Aquarius, there, there's going to be different rulers. So that's letting you know that the planets actually move, and they're actually uh, they're actually only stationary at their highest points. And their highest points is a whole different system. Like just because. The sun rules Leo. The sun is actually exalted in Aries. So the sun highest point and most vitality is in Aries. You know what I'm saying? It just rules Leo. So that lets you know the uh, the rulers um, is in a different position than the actual uh, rises. The rises and the falls. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I'm trying to tell you is when you go on some of these websites, say you type, say you uh, um a uh, uh, sun sign Gem a uh, sun sign Gemini, right? Now, they're not going to tell you the basic traits of Gemini. What they're going to do is they're going to take the element Gemini is, right? Which is air. Break that down and place that. They're going to place the air qual. They're going to place that air quality into into. They're going to place that sun quality into. Um, what relationships it have. So basically, if you're a sun sign Gemini, they're gonna take your element, which is air, they're gonna take the planet that rules it, which is Gemini, right? And then they're gonna explain, they're gonna explain Mercury, sorry, Mercury rules Gemini. Did I say Gemini? My bad, I'm, I'm all mixed up in thoughts right now. You know what I'm saying? My head is here, 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 here. But look, Mercury rules Gemini, right? And the element behind Gemini is air, right? And the, um, they're going to look at if it's cardinal, fixed, or mutable, which Gemini is a mutable, is a mutable sign. So this is what they do to explain Gemini. They're going to take Mercury, they're going to take air, and they're going to place it in mutable, in a mutableness, right? And then make an obsession on that, and then that's going to explain Gemini, which is that's only surface level, like, and... You're not getting the undertone. You're you're not you're not getting you're not getting uh, the Gemini darkest darkest moments, darkest secrets. You're not getting the real animalistic properties of these zodiac signs. You're not getting that. You're you're getting an analysis of the basis of it of, of a surface level. You know what I'm saying? And astrologers use this for surface level people, like people who are not into this and trying to get into this, which that's an excellent tool to use to get first learners and, and, and people into it. But I'm telling you, when you come to me, you're going to get the meat of the bones. I don't really necessarily need mercury or the air quality to explain the actual Gemini, because here's what happens. Here's what happens. When these websites take, or uh, astrologers, uh, the Sun sign, they want to talk to you as a Gemini, a sun sign Gemini. They take the air quality, they take the planet Mercury and place it immutable, and then they, they tell you like that's Gemini. And I'm here to tell you that that's just, that's not it. Because actually, when you take Mercury, you can explain characteristics of Virgo and Gemini. So if you're a Virgo and you and you listen to this interpretation of the sun sign Gemini, you're gonna start looking. You're gonna start being like, "Damn, I feel like that a little bit too." Astrology is not real, see, because they're not giving you the meat of the bones. They give you the actual surface level. Mercury is actually risen and exalted in in Virgo and actually rules Virgo also. So this is why when when a Virgo here Gemini's 
chart or interpretation they agree with it a little bit and then agree to disagree that astrology is not real and it can be applied to anybody but that's because and then and then they take the air they look they take the air right and try to place it in something to describe Jim now when and then when they describe an air that could be explained for Libras and Aquarius also the other two air signs so and then they place it in mutable since the other ones are not mutable and this is mute, and they put the planet and the air sign and Mercury in the mutability of the Gemini to explain the sun sign Gemini. It, it gives you a surface level basis because at the end of the day, the only thing that's just describing the Gemini right is the mutability of it, the mutable part of it. And then taking the air and taking the Mercury of it is applying the essential needs for that mutable sign to actually approach things but it's not the undertone of it that's why you need to contact me so how are we gonna do this this time I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do all these videos six minutes three detonates six minutes the first two minutes is gonna be where you've been the second two minutes is gonna be where you're at right now the third two the third detonate which is the, the third version of the two minutes is gonna be where you're headed so where you at so where you've been where you at where you're going Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Trinity, Mother, Son, Ghost, the, the, you know, the, the three down the line, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That's how we getting it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I want you to know, uh, it's going to be the, the six minutes, first, t first two minutes, where you been? Second two minutes, where you at? What's going on right now? Then that's a little quick breakdown of the transits, uh, the planets where they at right now, shit like that for that two minutes. Then the third two minutes is is where you're going. You know what I'm saying? So and then it's gonna be like uh, and and within that gonna be dark secrets, dark motivations, uh, uh, light moments, light motivations, uh, and and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the real interpretation. Look, like I said, I'm coming from the real source. I am the Archangel Uriel. Believe me when I say that. I'm coming from the right divine divinity source so don't get deflected by my language or or by my living conditions because where I live at like the environment or um, or certain actions I might take or certain language I might use listen it's not the words I'm using it's the energy put behind it that you need to be concerned with and if I say bitch nigga and all that shit you know it might be vulgar but the sincerity is real because you coming across astrologers and sh you coming across astrologers and shit like that who if they got mind blocks on what they should say and shouldn't say then to the littlest part in their interpretations it still affect them because they're a lot of things isn't genuine and they can't help it because it's not coming from a genuine place because they have a certain block in their brain that saying that I shouldn't do this or I shouldn't do that and it start to show in little shit as far as how they talk, when they talk. So a lot of things come across disingenuous. Listen, I might talk real vulgar or whatever like that because of, because of the environment I'm in and shit just like that though. But at least you know I'm coming from the pure state. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming from the... And, and you can sense I really mean this shit. I really feel it. So you know I'm, I'm not just out here trying to get for gav or tit for tat. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm, out, I'm in here doing real justice and real durability to the matter at hand. And I'm really trying to get you to understand from a real level. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming from the real place. So that's my video, man. D-O-E-L-O-W-4 at gmail.com. Dolo4 at gmail.com. Ask me anything. You know I'm not bougie. You know I'm not none of that. You know I'm for real. You know I'm sincere. You know I'm very serious about what the fuck I'm doing. Dolo the motherfucking pilot, man. Don't ever hesitate to ask me anything. I mean anything. You know, and you're going to do a uh, little NATO chart interpretation. Like I said, I had a layout ready for me. Don't just put your name and your date up there. I can't do all that. I can, but I have to find time to do that. Emails cleared out now. I'm gonna catch everybody. Catch everybody now. Flight boss bitch, you know. For sure.